So for this one, we're talking about exponents. What type of exponents, we need some vocabulary terms. An exponent is just that little number that goes above this big number. And it's a very special thing we're talking about. This number up here is the actual exponent. This is called the exponent. This number that it's being put over is called the base. And when we say that we're being raised to a certain power, the exponent is called a power sometimes. So this would be said 8 to the third power. Now what that means is basically this. 8 to the third power means 8 times 8 times 8. Because there are three 8s, you're multiplying them times itself that many times. So 8 times itself three times is 8 times 8 times 8. Okay? Now, to rewrite, to rewrite these, we often have to put them in what's called expanded form or sometimes also called multiplication form. So to do that, 8 to the 7th power would be 8 times itself 7 times. So 8 times 8 times 8, that's 3, times 8, that's 4, times 8, that's 5, times 8, that's 6, times 8, that's 7. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 eights. 8 to the 5th power would be 8 times itself 5 times. 8 times 8, that's 2, times 8, that's 3, times 8, that's 4, times 8, that's 5. Now we can easily convert the other direction. Convert this to what's called exponential form. That's writing it with an exponent. 7 times itself, how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 to the 6th power, or 7 to the 6th. This long one, oof, if we count, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 7 to the 10th power, or 7 with a 10 exponent. Now, for the homework, what that looks like, on the front, it says evaluate the exponents. To evaluate means basically to solve. To evaluate, to first expand it, 3 to the 4th, so that's 3 times itself 4 times. 3 times 3, times 3, times 3. Okay, 3 times 3 is 9. Um, 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3, I can't do that one in my head. I'll do it on the side. 27 times 3 is 81. This will be 81. 3 to the 4th power will be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is 81. 2 to the 3rd power will be 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 will be 8. 8 to the 3rd power will be 8. Sorry, 2 to the 3rd power will be 8. On the back, it's just more practice with this. Rewrite the number as a multiplication problem. That's in, that's in expanded form, so it's 2 to the 3rd will become 2 times 2 times 2, because there's three twos, 2 to the 3rd. We write this in exponential notation. All these are, count the number of times it happens, 6 times 6 times 6 times 6, there's four sixes. So that'll be 6 to the 4th power. Now we got to solve these. 9 to the 2nd will be 9 times 9, that's two nines, equals 81. Squared means to the 2nd power. So it's going to be 6 squared equals 6 times 6 is 36. Power of 2, power of 2, power of 3. Um, when, we say, when we see the term squared, that means to the second power. If we ever see the word cubed, that equals something to the third power. Cubed means something to the third power. Um, we'll talk about why that is when we do areas and such, um, but there is a really good reason. is because when you multiply something a length times a width, that's the square feet. When you do length times width times height, that's three, that's three times something. It's going to be the cube or the three-dimensional object. That's volume. But that's just a short-term way of saying something to the third power. Um, hopefully this helped. See you tomorrow.